and welcome to another Striker video guitar lesson. For today's lesson, we're going to show you how to play full speed or no speed off the album Eyes in the Night. Again, we're tuned to D standard. Alright, let's start out with the intro and verse riff. It goes a little something like this. Let's break down that verse riff. It goes a little something like this slowed down. So what you want to do is uh, you start it with a power chord up on the 7th fret on your 2nd string, followed by some chugs. Pretty simple there, right? And then we have a little uh, pull-off pattern, which goes from the seventh fret down to the fifth fret on your uh, second and third strings. Each time is punctuated with a little shot on the open D string, and then uh, the final little pull-off lick is pretty much the same thing, except you end down on the C which is a power chord on your 5th fret. Alright, now we're going to do the pre-chorus, which is very similar to the verse, uh, except now we're going to start down on your 3rd fret on the 2nd string, moving up to the 5th fret, and then we're going to uh, finish it off the, the the riff is finished off very similar to the, the verse riff with uh, that pull-off lick. It goes a little something like this. The lead section of the pre-chorus starts up on the 7th fret of your 4th string. Uh, you quickly hammer on to your ninth fret, and it's a little ascending lick, and then uh, it repeats, and it comes down on the second one with a little counterpoint. Uh, it sounds something like this. Moving on to the chorus, it's pretty simple, it goes a little something like this. Pretty simple, right? Uh, basically, you're just doing uh, D, which can be either your open D string, or it can be your uh, power chord up on your 7th fret on your 2nd string. Uh, on the tab that I did, I have, uh, you start out with the low D, and then you go up to one octave to the next D. I think it gives you kind of a, an interesting flair, if you will, because you're playing the same note, essentially. And then uh, you want to go down to your 3rd fret on your 2nd string then up to your 5th fret on your 2nd string. And that's pretty much the whole chorus. Uh, it's pretty simple. Alright, the lead part over the chorus goes a little something like this. You want to bend up from your 15th fret on your 5th string all the way up to the 17th fret. And then you want to hit your 13th fret and go up to the 17th fret. Uh, so something live, we play something like this. Something like that. Uh, there's a lot of harmonies in the, uh, in the recording as well as how we play it live. 
So feel free to mess around with how you want to play that section. Moving on to the bridge section, right before the solo, uh, you want to start out on your fifth fret on your second string, and then move down to your first fret, then third. Then you want to do the same pattern, except this time instead of ending on your third fret on your second string, you just want to go down to your third fret on your first string. These are all power chords, remember? And it goes a little something like this. bridges over into the solo section uh, is power chords again all on the second string uh, eight seven five seven eight all right for the solo section it's very simple it's very similar to the bridge section you're uh, gonna start out on your eighth fret on your second string and all the riffing is done pretty much primarily on the second string it goes a little something like this and that just kind of repeats uh, so it's just on your eighth fret then you go down to your fourth fret and then up to six eight again down to four down to one then we have a key change for the second half of the solo which is pretty much the exact same pattern, except now you're down on the uh, fifth fret on the second string, and uh, it goes a little something like this. And that's a whole solo section. Time for the solo section. Uh, the way we do the solo section is I play the first half of it, and then Chris goes on to play the second half. Generally live, I like to have uh, uh, kind of an open interpretation of how to play the solo. So uh, I do a little bit of improvising here or there, and I like to kind of switch it up every once in a while. But I'll play you my interpretation of the actual recorded piece. Alright, here's the uh, first little chunk of the first part of the guitar solo. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> On to the next section, it goes a little something like this. So that little section has some sweet picking in it, so make sure you're uh, brushed up on your sweet picking technique. Uh, basically, you're going to start out down on your third fret and uh, the notes go like this and here's a little sweet pecking section so it's only like and then we do the exact same pattern but up an octave starting on your 10th uh, fret on your 4th uh, string and then we have a little pentatonic lick There's uh, again another little pentatonic lick after that last pentatonic lick. It goes a little something like this. Uh, slow, something like this. And that's uh, again just based on pentatonic stuff. Uh, you probably want to bar on your 13th fret um, and then just hit everything. All nimbly bimbly. All right, and now to finish off the uh, first half of the solo, again, there's some more sweep picking. This time it's a little bit more complicated. It's a four string sweep. Um, this time also it's a triplet pattern. It goes a little something like this. I'll play it for you a little slow. <laughs> That's how you finish it off. 
off, so a little bit faster would be something like this. Alright, we start this half of the solo up on the 13th fret of your 5th string. Uh, we start off with a bend and then we go into a little counterpoint uh, medley with uh, a little melody at the end. I'll play kind of the first half of this. Now for the second half of the solo, uh, the ascending part kind of starts up with uh, a little slidey bit. You want to slide up to your 15th fret on your 5th string and then jump to your 17th fret followed by a nice big bend on the 20th fret. Uh, I'll play the final ending section. Something like that. Uh, so after the big, nice, juicy band, we want to go. Uh, we do a little pull-off uh, pattern. Then we do an ascending lick. You want to start all up on your highest string, uh, 13th fret, 15, 17, and then 18. And then we do uh, basically you just run up the scale, ending with a nice big bend on the 20th fret, something like this. And that's the whole solo section. And that's everything you need to know in how to play full speed or no speed. Thanks again for watching the video. Uh, be sure to check out the tab available on Ultimate Guitar. Dot com uh, and stay tuned to our social media for new exciting updates and new videos. Uh, hopefully we'll be teaching you all you need to know for uh, any other striker songs. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. Yeah.